How did they abandon this? $8,000 for sports cards that somebody abandoned. I have been looking inside of storage lockers for the last four months, and there's one thing that has been incredibly elusive for me, and it's something that's the holy grail of the market right now. Sports cards, basketball cards, baseball cards, hockey cards, you name it, Pokemon cards. They've been exploding. Yes, you've seen our videos on Pokemon cards, but you haven't seen anything about basketball, baseball. I've been trying and I keep getting outbid every single time. So today I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it is a good day because I bought a storage locker that was abandoned that has sports cards in it. It looks full of sports cards. So I am so pumped right now to see what's inside of it. Let's go see what we got. I'm so pumped. I can't tell you how pumped I am. This is crazy. These are bins full of cards that have rollers on them. Cards, 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 more cards. And then there's just like an open box right here. I saw this on the, oh my gosh, there's a baseball. I mean, this is just like cards in protective sleeves. That is a good sign. I mean, what's this right here? Oh, look at that. It's a Chris Weber Rookie of the Year. This card is not sleeved, but this is Charles Barkley Fleer basketball card. I mean, there are so many cards that could be worth, what is this, what year is this one? I don't even know what year it is. Why is it not in a sleeve? Why is he on the 76ers? So many questions that I don't have the answers to. I'm gonna get some experts. We're gonna find out how much we got from this. Oh, and by the way, I spent a lot of money on this, including all of the fees and everything. This cost me $8,000 for sports cards that somebody abandoned. I hope we get our money's worth, but I'm telling you already, just seeing some of these cards, I think we've got this. I'm gonna start right here with this. Mickey Mantle, Detroit Red Wings. Hockey, surprisingly, has been super good. Kurt Schilling, what's this box? Dang, there's so many cards. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take a while. I love the ones that are in protective sleeves. Like, you would think they'd be smart enough to say, this is, this is a good card. Hakeem Olajuwon, rookie autograph edition. I don't know, I'm gonna need to look that up. I love that guy, oh yeah. Tim Duncan, SP Limited, 87 out of 100 right there. I'm gonna look that up right now. Ah, zero service. How did they abandon this? Chris Webber, Upper Deck, Autograph Edition. Another Chris Webber. Another Chris Webber, another Chris Webber. Kevin Garnett, Chris Webber. More Chris Webbers. Tracy McGrady. There's a Magic Johnson, I don't know. Magic and Larry Bird on there. This looks like the 86 that is super valuable, but these were like remakes of the old ones, and so unfortunately it's not like crazy, crazy valuable. Oh, hey. Utah Jazz, Pete Maravich, one of the greatest to ever play basketball. Yes, this is what we wanna see. You wanna see the greats. I want LeBron, I want MJ, and I want Kobe. Those are the three that I would love to have. Why does this say Kobe on it? Is this like an error card? You've got Kobe Bryant on the back. So it talks about Kobe Bryant. You flip it over, it's got this guy from the Magic. Is that an error? That's kind of amazing. I'm gonna own. I would imagine it's worth probably a bit more than one dollar now. This is solid. We got a shack right here. Skybox, I don't know that brand. I'm, I, again, I'm not an expert here. Like this is a 1988 Charles Barkley card. It looks like it's in good condition. It's old and Charles, he's Hall of Fame. Oh my gosh, dude, this is insane. That was just one little thing that I grabbed. This is like insane how much stuff is here. I mean, that looks like an old card. I just don't know what the brand is. It's Magic Johnson, though. Yeah, these ones are like in some serious protective cases. I don't know as much about baseball. I love basketball stuff. I just don't know about the baseball stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please be worth money. This is uh, Pete Rose card right here. Reggie Jackson. Look at this, it's like some sort of weird case. Just got all these cards in here. Like, what are these? Upper deck. Kevin Garnett, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan. Yes, Tim Duncan, yes. This guy owns like every Chris Weber in existence, apparently. That's old. Whitney Ford or something. A signed ball by Nolan Ryan. Nolan knows Bo. Bo Jackson hits a shot back. Oh, Bo Jackson hits a shot back to Nolan Ryan, bloodying his lip on September 8th, limited edition series 206 of 1000. So it's like a shadow box that commemorates that moment when Nolan Ryan got hit in the face by Bo Jackson with the baseball. That's pretty funny. 
Nothing. I am so intrigued. Like, what's inside this storage locker? Like, what did you put in this bag? What kind of things did you decide to put inside of here? They just stuffed them in here. I mean, that thing is bent. 90s were kind of a bad year for sports cards. They just printed way too many sports cards. What I really want is like 1986. If I can get some 1986 basketball stuff, I'd be pumped. This is the local hockey team. Golden Knights, probably not as valuable. We got an old Nolan Ryan card right here. I'm really curious in this big box right here. I'm trying to get down to it. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if... Those are signed, but I don't know if it's like a real signature. Bo Jackson and stuff. Shaquille O'Neal rookie. I don't know if NBA Hoops brand is like a good one. Charles Barkley, Carl Malone the Mailman. If that's his actual rookie. Oh, okay. Okay, I saw Jordan. I want some MJs that I haven't been able to find any. Please, find me a Jordan. A Michael Jordan golfing one. That's from 94 though, so it's not like super rare. There's some Scotty Pippen cards. Ah, okay, not the greatest there. Some of those cards that are like 30 to $100,000 to even a million dollars. Not seeing those yet. This box right here. Packs. Like, are they actually opened or why do you keep in the packs? Okay, there's just some newer ones. 17 Panini Draft Contenders. Oh, hey. Draft Picks 2017. Oh, that's like the college ones. These could have some newer cards that are worth something. Why do people go through those? So, oh, I got a few comments in here. A little Superman. That's cool. Well, X Men. Baseball cards, 2007. I mean, there's just like random John Stockton just sitting there. And there's a John Stockton just smashed in the bottom there too, come on. NASCAR and Godzilla is what it says on there. That's funny, I didn't know that was a thing. Check this out, a $2 bill. Making back our money, one $2 bill at a time. And then down in here, we've definitely, they didn't take all the comics back. Oh yeah, tons of comic books here. Just got just like random comics all over the place. This is a dream for a storage locker find. Okay, I just found my first graded cards. Here we go. Ricky Henderson, I met him. I high-fived him when he was in his Ferrari one time. It's a seven. Man, that's my childhood right there, 1987, I was seven years old. Inside of this box are some more folders and check this out, this is more current. These are Panini cards right here. This is from 2018. These are all rookies right there. Anybody that looks important, not really. Um, here we go, here's Matthew Safford on here. But then look at this, we've even got Eli Manning contenders card. Awesome. Jason Tatum. His cards go for a lot when they're graded. Giannis, there's two Giannis, another Jason Tatum, Paul George, James Harden, but yeah, this might be his rookie year. If that's his rookie year, let's look on the back and see if it shows what year that was. 2018, 19, okay, so I think that's his, that's his second year, so it's not as valuable, but still, people love Jason Tatum. We got a 1991 Bo Jackson here. Richard Sherman, I mean, these are current cards. That's good to see some current stuff, because some of the current stuff is what people love to trade these days. I mean, this is a bin right here. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but you can look and see basketball, basketball, baseball, baseball, just full of cards. Time lapse. Now is the task of going through this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I'm not gonna show you all that. I'm gonna show you what did we find, how much is it worth. Come on in, come see the cards. Hello, I want to see these cards. A lot of stuff. We're back at the house, by the way. We're finding a lot more cards that I didn't see earlier in my little hour. Look at this one. What even is we it? have a comic that Jonathan's holding upside down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look on there, boom. That's probably not that much, but that one is a lot and it's like the same one. PSA graded eight. Cards, we got some fancy Tim Duncan cards. Mr. Kobe Bryant, another Kobe Bryant here. We got some good cards here. How about a little Emmett Smith? 
These super old ones. Seriously, look how old these cards are. What is this? Whoa, there's a lot of these comics. Oh, I've had three different friends come over that know quite a bit about sports cards. And they've gone through every single box, every single card, some of them two different times. And taking the ones that are not going to be of value or it's like $2, $3, $5, something that's really not gonna be worth going online and trying to sell everyone to somebody, they may wanna do it. I, it's not worth my time to do all of that and for a lot of people it's not. And so we put those ones inside of these big tubs and I'm just gonna throw those on Facebook Marketplace and sell them for like $200 for the, all the bins. Come get them, take them, they're yours. But then the ones that do seem like they could be of value, we put on this table, all of those ones. And those ones are anywhere from $20 to $600. Seriously, are we gonna make our money back? I'm like 99% sure that we will not only make our money back, but at least double our money with this stuff. But I did learn through this process that Looking through sports cards is no joke. It takes so much time and you really do have to know the different years, which things are valuable, which things are important. Um, I didn't think the recent ones would be all that much, but like here's a Donovan Mitchell rookie card and it's not like a super fancy rookie card, but this is gonna be worth more than most of the Shaq rookies. There's so many things that I don't know about this space that you have to have an expert and so I don't know that I recommend you buying storage lockers that have tons of baseball cards in it unless you know you have some friends or you know some like dealers that will give you a deal that you could take it in, which right now the grading service is so backed up that it takes anywhere from a month to seriously a year. You could send in a bulk submission of all of your cards and take a year to get them back and who knows what's gonna happen in a year. I don't think I can tell you in this video how much money we made from the, store, from the storage locker because this video is gonna take me the next year of my life randomly selling these cards one by one, get them graded and then selling them one by one. Like, it's a massive process. Maybe there's somebody on here that like loves cards and would love to pay me a bulk for all of this stuff. You get overwhelmed. Like luckily I had amazing friends that helped me go through this stuff, but seriously, it's, it's overwhelming. It's super overwhelming to figure out how to sell every one of these cards. Right there it says nine out of 10. There's only 10 of these cards ever made. So there's the pricing. It's hard to even find the pricing on cards like this because there's only 10 and some of them are probably still in wax boxes somewhere that haven't even been opened. So there's not really numbers that show you like this last one was sold at this price because there's literally only 10. And so to the right person that understands this market, they could kill it with these cards. Like I feel like somebody, especially with the grading service, they could potentially make $50,000 off of these cards, but it's gonna take some work. So anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Potentially, I'll shut this down, get some comments from you guys, see what I could do. It's been fun though, I did learn a lot. So anyway, thanks for watching. Random Storage Locker, jury is still out on the value. Oh, I'm an idiot. Don't drop the cards. Don't drop the Nolan Ryans. In 1994, after a 49ers football game, he was there and he came out and he rolled down his window, white, white Lamborghini actually, and he high-fived me. Um, what's this one here? What we got? Hi. Hey, buddy. What is, it's a quarter.